My name is Scott Talinsky. I'm a full stack developer from Denver, Colorado. And with me as always is Wes Boss. How you doing, Wes? Hey, good. I was going to do like a hilarious intro, like do a rogue podcast by night all day. Let's go. I stole your joke. It was written in the, in the show notes. So I decided to just yank it in this episode. Uh, we're going to be talking about publishing a React library. This is something that I'm currently doing and I'm, uh, I'm growing more and more interested in this and I've been really impressed with just how easy I think you're, you're on a really natural flow, so okay. I don't want to interrupt you. Okay. I guess everything started, I was working as a web developer uh, for a small agency in Ann Arbor, Michigan. My boss and I, we had often watched a lot of YouTube tutorials. And if we wanted to learn something here or there, we would pick up a YouTube tutorial or even bought a tutorial pack from somewhere. And we had this idea of what works and what doesn't work. So he and I had always talked about starting a YouTube channel. We were seeing the sort of size and growth of some of the channels that we liked. And we had talked about this for a long time without doing anything with it. And then uh, along comes uh, an incident in my life which sort of changed my life sort of dramatically. Hell no, you ain't shit offended you would ask me to. Don't get it twisted that I'm working here because I'm just passing through. But they don't believe me because I've been here for years working. And so it's seeming it's dreaming of rapping. I've been a breakdancer for uh, 15, 16 years now. I've gone all across the United States performing and competing in competitions. And it just so happened that I, I made a tiny little miscalculation when I was upside down and spinning, and I just basically cranked my head into the ground. Right about right here, I think, is where it hit, and it, it bounced off the ground, and at the time, it was just like an, it was just another hit, right? It didn't necessarily seem like that crazy of a hit. I woke up the next morning with a huge bruise on the side of my head and uh, unable to essentially do anything. Well, it turns out I had a, a pretty bad concussion and that concussion sidelined me from not only dancing, but even doing yoga or working out at the gym. It sidelined me from physical activity entirely for about eight months. I basically just have to be doing things. I'm a very active dude. I, I'm, I gotta be doing this or that or whatever. And all of a sudden I found myself really just unable to feel comfortable because I had all this open time in my life. Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna get started on a new technology, and we're gonna be using something called Polymer. So over the course of these next few videos, we're gonna show you all you need to know about Polymer we're gonna create. That concussion happened in February of 2012, and by March of 2012, my boss and I had already started the YouTube channel. Hi everyone, this is Ben Schaff with Level Up Tuts. Today we're going to pick up on some expression engine training. I had been working all day, every day as a Drupal developer at the time, uh, writing PHP and just encountering a lot of Drupal bugs. What I would do is I would work on something all day at work, I would come home, I would do the exact same thing I did at work, only this time I talked with a microphone and screen recorded and then put it up on YouTube that night. Today we're gonna be installing Drupal on your local machine. I was able to produce nine or so tutorials a week. So next thing I know, I have a 80 some videos up there and I produce a series on this really interesting technology called SAS. Today I'm going to be talking about SAS. SAS basically takes, at the time it took, things that were very difficult to do in CSS and made it very easy. And it was something not a lot of people knew about it. We'd only heard about it at a, a tech meetup. So 
I made a tutorial series on SAS, and it might have been the very first one on YouTube. It would just so happen that the creators of SAS and some of these technologies started sharing our videos because we were teaching the very basics. We were teaching the stuff that other people would overlook. We saw our views just spike right up. And it's really been a constant trajectory upwards ever since then as we created more and more tutorials. Maybe about a year later, I was creating 200 to 300 videos a year. Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Level Up Tutorials. Tutorials. And this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. 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 And in this series, we're going to be diving into React testing. I think one thing as far as the movement of education for software development goes is open source has opened so many doors uh, to people being able to pick up and learn code without having to get a degree. There has been the shift of self-directed learning in a way where you might not go to a school or you might go to a boot camp or you you might just fire up YouTube, right? You can take any of these paths and end up in the exact same spot as somebody who did get a computer science background. Open source software allows people to dive into really complex code examples and learn from it all over the world, right? You could have a $100 Chromebook and tear through some high level software that is being used in production right now. What web development allows people to do is get a constant sense of accomplishment. Hey, I built this thing today. I got this thing working. I spent all day on this very frustrating bug, but I fixed it. And like that sort of driver is just so incredibly powerful that once people who really find out that they love it, they're able to, again, they're, they're able to completely change their career into something that is challenging and interesting to them. The message for me is if you put enough focused energy into anything, you can take your career to places that you would have no idea that you could have ever been.